Are your staples not feeding in the magazine? If so, you could need a new feeder assembly. The feeder assembly houses a recoil spring and pulley. The pulley has a retractable cable attached to it. The feeder assembly attaches to the feeder shoe, and the feeder shoe rides on a rail in the magazine and pushes the staples forward. The cable attaches to the nose piece. Typical problems with the feeder assembly are a broken cable, a broken recoil spring, or damage to the mounting eyelet or housing. Replacing the feeder assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the screw in the nut that secured the back of the magazine to the gun. Next, I remove this screw that secures the front of the magazine to the nose piece. Now I'll loosen this screw at the back of the magazine. This screw actually secures the other side of the magazine at the front of the gun. I don't need to take this all the way out, just loose enough so the magazine will come off of the gun. Now I'm going to remove the push lever. The push lever is actually a nut that secures the feeder to the feeder's shoe. Now I need to remove the feeder cable from the nose piece. It's secured with a roll pin. You'll need a fairly small punch to do this. And I'll just tap out the roll pin. I don't need to remove the roll pin all the way, just enough until the cable comes free. Just a little bit more. Now I'll open up the magazine guard and I can pull the feeder away from the feeder shoe. Now I can install the new feeder. First I'll place the feeder shoe back on the magazine track. Now I'll install the feeder through the shoe and the magazine. The cable should be up. And I'll secure all this with the lever. Now I need to resecure the eyelet on the end of the cable to its mounting location on the nose piece. This can be a little tricky because the eyelet is being pulled back by the recoil spring in the feeder, and I need to mount this in place while tapping a roll pin back down. So it can be helpful if you have somebody to help. If there's nobody around to give you a hand, you can try what I'm gonna do. I've tapped the roll pin so it's about halfway through that opening where the eyelet needs to mount. I'm going to place the eyelet in there and hook it onto the roll pin that's protruding. Then I'll tap the roll pin in place using my puncture hammer. I'll place the eyelet so it's hooked onto the roll pin. Looks like I need to tap the roll pin through a little bit more. And that looks good. Now re-secure the magazine to the nose piece, starting with this long screw at the back of the gun. Now the screw at the front of the magazine. And I'll finish by reinstalling the screw that secures the rear of the magazine.
And that's how easy it is to install a new feeder on your stapler. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.